What up? Good morning, you wonderful, wonderful people. Today is 30th of August. I think it's a Saturday. Yeah, no, it's a Sunday. Today is a Sunday and it's 30th of August. And it officially marks one year that I've been travelling. That's absolutely crazy to think that I've been travelling for one year, like nine countries, um, just all in one go, like just, it's the things that I've seen, the people that I've met, it's just been absolutely amazing, like I can't, before I left, I was really excited, but before I even started planning, I never would have dreamed of doing the things I've done, seeing the things that I've seen and it's just like mind-blowing knowing that I've been doing it for a year you know living my dream for a year um, and yeah it has changed my life in ways that I never would have dreamed of like absolutely I never would have dreamed of so yeah it's been an amazing year so far uh, well yeah it's been an amazing year it really really has and the good thing is, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I just want to keep on doing this as long as I can because I'm living my dream. You know, it's the life that I want to live. So I'm doing it. Why should I stop? Why should I stop, guys? There is no reason for me to stop traveling um, and living my dream. It is absolutely amazing. So not only does it mark one year of traveling, it also marks one year of travel vlogging. I hope you guys have enjoyed these vlogs for the last year, well, however long you've been watching them, whether it's been a few days or whether it has been for the whole year. I hope you guys really have enjoyed these vlogs. Um, I hope it's maybe given you some inspiration to live your dream. Today I am going dirt biking all day, a full day dirt biking, just like I did in Cambodia. Um, I've done a whole day dirt biking there and it was amazing. Um, so yeah, I thought, you know, I had a couple of days in Bali. I didn't really want to just sit about on a beach. So instead I'm going to throw my leg over a two-wheeled machine and go out into the wilderness, um, just have a good day, just dirt bike riding and it's going to be so much fun. I'm so looking forward to this. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really, really good. They're just waiting to be picked up now. Um, there's a doggy. Hey doggy. Um, so yeah, I get a pick up and like, lunch and everything included as with um, in Cambodia. Huh? Hey, nice to, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. You got towel? Yes, towel and socks, so yeah. Where are you from? England. I'm from England. Yeah. Man. Okay, so now arrived at um, Bali Dirt Bike Club, which is where I'm going to be, well, the people that I'm going to be riding with today. This is Geddy, the owner. He's been very nice, talking to me forever. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's taken me to... Uh, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, he runs a property as well, um, this is accommodation. So, this is Adele. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the guide. Um, so yeah, it's getting some gear ready for me right. to put on. Um, and then we're gonna go out, uh, test the bike on a track. Um, and yeah, just have a good day. It's gonna be a very, very good day. Looking forward to it. So we just went out and tested the uh, KLX 250 um, and the Husqvarna TE 250 I think it is. Husqvarna is like a hardcore motocross bike um, but it's a bit too much for what we're doing so I'm going to take the uh, KLX, Kawasaki to KLX. So yeah I'm just waiting on these guys now. Uh, they're going out, these guys are coming. Oh ho, ho, ho. he just lost his seat. <laughs> he landed hard. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they, you get a lot of sighting, uh, you get to try out the bikes and stuff like that, so, yeah, um, test the bikes out and see how you like them, so yeah, just waiting for those guys to go around and then, um, yeah, we're going to head out into the jungle and stuff like that.
so we just stopped by this rice paddy lookout um, waiting for the other guys to catch up because we went ahead because the other guys weren't quite as confident um, or what weren't quite as confident on the bike so we went ahead uh, just waiting for them now to catch up but I left my spare GoPro battery back at um, where we picked the bikes up so that's a bit annoying because that battery is nearly dead now so um, yeah so hopefully I can get some good footage but uh, yeah, we'll see might not be as much as um, what I'd like but it's okay still get some footage we moved on from the uh, rice paddies which are taking too, stop, too long we've come to this waterfall uh, which is absolutely amazing really beautiful waterfall the ride's really good so far um, I haven't really come off I got stuck a couple of times got stuck, stuck on a hill climb a really steep hill climb um, and uh, literally just down there I got stuck in a rut um, that was literally the wheels went in and the, the bike bottomed out um, so I had to drag the bike back and then start again so yeah but it's a lot of fun so far a lot of fun So now stop for lunch in like this place. Like, that's rice paddies. That's where we're eating up there. So yeah, it's a really nice place. Um, and yeah, from the waterfall, it was mostly on road, um, and I actually ended up capturing half an hour of just riding on road on my GoPro. So which isn't really good considering I don't have a spare battery. Um, but it's still alive just just for now. So. Hopefully it can recoup some while we're eating lunch. Um, and yeah, it's gonna have some lunch and I think we're going to a beach this afternoon. Um, yeah, going to a beach, not to sunbathe, but to ride on the beach. We just had to stop at a mechanics now um, because my guide's bike is like misfiring and stalling all the time. Um, so I need to get that sorted really. Um, so hopefully it's just something simple. Um, that shouldn't be such a hard fix, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sit and chill here. I was actually looking forward to this rest. Um, I didn't know I was actually... I, I was looking forward to a rest, I should say. Um, I was getting mega bad arm pump. Um, and yeah, there was some... like I didn't actually record them because I'm saving my battery, but there were some really good trails, uh, like really technical trails. Um, so yeah, it was actually good to do... Um, good to... Uh, Get on trails because a lot of this morning was um, getting between the trails, like on roads. So, like, but this, this afternoon it's been a lot, a lot of off-road trails. So, it's been really, really good. So, yeah, just wait here, see if they can fix this bike, um, and then move on to the next place. Unfortunately, I didn't take my second GoPro battery. I left it here. It's like sitting on the table. So, so pissed off that I left that here. Um, so, yeah, but no, um, when we was on the beach, uh, the guide's bike like broke down pretty much, and then the battery pretty much went flat. Um, so, and then we managed to get it started, and then we rode a little bit, and then his uh, throttle cable snapped. So, I had to get a tow. He towed me because he knew the way. Um, a little way which is rather scary rather scary being towed like only like two foot behind another bike but it's all right it's all right so we made it back all in one piece so yeah really good day <laughs> it back to the hotel now today was really good really enjoyed it but I've got to get a shower now because I smell I'm dirty and yeah all the things you expect to happen when you're riding dirt bikes all day um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and grab a shower, and then gonna head out for some food. Always feel great after a shower. Always, always, always. Um, 
I jarred my leg when we was riding, um, stopped myself from falling. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine, it's just like my hip joint is just a bit sore um, to walk on, so it'll be alright though. It's all in the name of uh, dirt bike riding, so yeah, can't complain too much. Oh, okay, so I'm back at the hotel now, I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. Um, so yeah, tomorrow I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Um, probably just chill, maybe gonna get a massage. Um, and like how my leg is and if I'm not a little bit achy from <sighs> from the ride I'm sure a massage will do me pretty good um, I may try and get down to like the main beach area even though I'm not really that keen on beaches but there's something to do um, so yeah we'll see we'll see what I do tomorrow I'll just play it by ear um, so yeah I was actually supposed to be flying to Cairns tonight at 2 a.m. Um, but I'm actually going to Perth now um, for a week. I'm going to see a friend, uh, Shannon, um, well, as well as all the other guys. Um, but I'm staying with Shannon, um, which will be really, really good um, for a week. And also, I'd like to catch up with the guys. and see what I've been up to the last couple of months um, so yeah it's gonna be really good it's gonna be really really good so yeah so I've got a couple of days here now um, I was only supposed to have like one day but it's changed because oh, this one I can get the cheapest flight um, so yeah it's gonna be good I'm looking forward to it so yeah remember guys Always be kind of strangers because you never know when you can be one yourself. Catch you later, guys.